The turn-by-turn -turn navigation in your smartphone has become an indispensable part of getting around by car. You probably already have some kind of mount in your car to help keep your phone in view and out of your hands. But what if you're not driving your car? What if you're driving some kind of rental car on your crazy summer road trip? What do you do then? Well, I'm gonna show you how to make your own DIY universal smartphone mount using supplies you can probably just pick up around the office. All right, so here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a large binder clip, you're gonna need some rubber bands, and at least one wrench, two is better. Now let's talk about the large binder clip. Now if you can shop around for binder clips, which is a lot of fun, try to find the binder clips that have this rubberized handle. That rubberized bit is gonna hold your phone in place a lot better. It's also gonna be a lot easier on your hands when you're trying to bend this thing back. And that's the next step. Grab your wrenches, clamp one bit, and then get the other half to bend the little tips of the arms down. These are gonna act as fingers to kind of hold the phone in place. They're really tough. If I was there at Franklin, I could do this by hand. So you're gonna flip it around, bend the other arm. And if you can get these practically touching each other, that'd be great because that bend is what's gonna help hold the phone in place, not just horizontally, but vertically too. That's pretty good. The reason why we're doing that is because your phone's gonna go in here and when it's gonna clamp down on it, you want these ends to be kind of gripping it like a pair of fingers. That's pretty good. Now, when you're adding the rubber bands, any rubber band will do, but if you really wanna kick it up a notch, you should try a plastic band that's a lot stronger, and that strength is gonna help hold your phone in place a lot better. I just wrapped it onto the uh, arms here until all the slack was taken out. That should be good enough to help keep some tension and keep my phone in place. Now, the next part is tricky placing this thing in your car. Sometimes you've got a nice horizontal air conditioning vent that you can latch this thing on. Not the case here, I've got these vertical vents, they aren't turning. Here's a good spot, right up here by the clock, a little place I can pinch onto. That's gonna be in my field of view, but not too far to be out of reach. Look at that, perfect. So there you go, it's holding my phone, staying in place, doing everything a car mount needs to do for next to nothing. I mean, I practically stole all the materials for this thing, cost me maybe a few bucks at most.